Now we're here in front of the castle of uh, Rambouillet, next to where they murdered in 1979 the French minister Robert Boulin. Here's some information on the uh, on the castle. Yeah, well, and um, I just found out. Uh, some people told me that uh, the Rothschilds are here. Rothschild, Swiss, Swiss, Swiss. They are here. Oh, it starts with the sun hieroglyph. There we go. I don't know if this is a castle or what. It's a bit windy. And uh, they bought a uh, Templar era in the 19th century Templar era uh, monastery. So guess who's behind the murder, eh? So we see. So this is the real deal. It's kind of hard to say which one is the castle. This one here, or that biggie here. No idea. Anyway, you, this is the the real pharaoh here, the firstborn son. You won't find any Templars here, but still, I found a Templar era monastery bought by Rothschild, which is Switzerland. A red underground with a white cross in it. So apparently this is the castle. Yeah. You wanna open up tomorrow. Pharaoh stuff. Red and white pharaonic kingdom. Upper and lower Egypt. Well they're not gonna let me in with my two backpacks. And what's this then? Probably a bit older. No idea. See these sort of pyramids here? And here the Freemason Pharaonic Triangle. It's not necessary for the construction because there it isn't. No. And uh, the Grail, of course. There it is. And one of those lakes here, one of those ponds. Not here, but I'm going to go there. They drowned the minister. Oh, they actually didn't drown him there. This is the Jus Prime Noctis, Le Droit de Crissage. Are they raped our women? Hey, eh? You devils. Where is these pillars on the other side? There. Yachim and Boas, eh? And there. Yachim and Boas. What's on top of it? I don't know. Everywhere. There. There's a statue there. So these are the real pharaohs. A grandson of Louis the Fourteenth, the Sun King, <laughs> the Sun King. He was living here. Yeah. The Duke, bloody pharaohs. But well, I'm not interested in the uh, the firstborn sons with their magnificent castles and all that. I'm interested in the Templars in Switzerland, because that's the era we're living in now. I'm sure they won't find me if I pitch up my tent there somewhere over there. Hi. So this one here is the use Prime Noctis with the rape of women. Look at this one here. Oh look at your French homos. It's legal now. <laughs> it's all from the aristocracy anyway, all this shit, you know. They've always been doing they're all they've always been like homos and shut up. They've always been into a homosexuality, these pharaohs and the aristocracy. And it's still going on. Uh, like in Afghanistan, it was Alexander the Great that brought the uh, the Bacha Boz. You know, they dress up a young boy as a girl and then they rape her. And it's the, the upper class doing it. The warlords from and the Islamic aristocracy brought it later. There you can see, having nice parties with us, you know. You see, on one side you got the grail with the horned one here. On the other side you got the French homos there. So in this castle of Rambouillet, in the same era when they killed the uh, the French minister Boulin, they held the first our masters. They held the first G7 meetings in the world in history. I think it was the first time in history. Of course it has to be in a castle, eh? Pharaohs. Me. It was in here, they held the first... Oh, you know. 
the aristocracy. They held the first uh, G7 meetings. Yeah. See in this hole? Yeah, look at it. Yeah. So this big building here next to the castle is where they kept the, uh, the army to defend the king or the duke, the grandson of the king. But here they held the first G7 meetings. And uh, so in the 19th century until 1934, 36 it said, uh, there was a military school here. Let's have a look. So here they killed the minister just next to the road. Etang de Hollande. Etang that means a pond, sort of. So it should be there at the end of the road. Let's have a look. So here this is Etang Rompu uh, next to the uh, Etang Hollande. And it's right here where they killed the minister. Uh, the minister Boulin. So they killed the. Uh, so the Swiss could take over the power, which they have now with Macron. So here are some French nationalists here. Okay, so you are? Gaulois? No, Viking! Viking, yeah! England! <laughs> so now they have... Um, so the guy's giving me some uh, alcohol, some, some vodka or something. There are some French nationalists. And uh, this, is, this is the place where they murdered the minister. You see here, there's a lot of mud here. And um, he didn't have mud on his shoes, you know. And he had the liquid, when you die, he had it in his back while he was lying on his stomach. So they murdered him somewhere else when he was lying on his back. And... Uh, no mud on his shoes, where the policemen, they had a lot of mud on, on their shoes. And the Swiss, they wanted to take over, and now they got their, their Swiss sleeper agents, like uh, Macron, he's a uh, Swiss sleeper agent. And uh, they all are. He worked for the bank Rothschild. There is a Rothschild next to it here. And... Uh, he did 1 million euros straight in his pocket with Nestle Swiss. And Nestle Swiss are big gangsters. So, so this is still the same lake where the minister got murdered. Just around the corner there. Well, they didn't murder him here, actually. And this is where I slept. It's a real dodgy place, especially in the night. It's in a huge forest outside of, uh, at the south of, Fran of Paris. And um, France is 24% forest. And then maybe 80% is Greenland, you know. It really is a beautiful country. They're all heaped up in some big cities. And uh, it used to be the hunting grounds of the kings here. I can feel winter approaching. Uh, I'm still on my sandals. Uh, it's a bit cold in the night. So I didn't want to sleep there because, you know, the cars, they can park quite next to where I would have slept. So here's only some uh, off-road cars. I can come here, but I put some, lo some logs here. So it's on the agenda, and Mr. Minister Boulin, here they found his dead body, or well, he wasn't murdered here, probably in the castle or next to the obelisk or something like that. Uh, he would have, you know, he was against the, uh, their agenda, the Albert Pike agenda, to import millions and millions of Muslims and to have a third world war in the Middle East, attacking both the Muslims and us as usual and this minister he knew about Swissy's plans you know 
and the Templars and the aristocracy and Pharaoh, Fir'aun, as the Muslims say. They're the evil ones, they're the bad ones. And this guy here had to die for the agenda to import all the Muslims. It's not the fault of the Muslims. In memory of Minister Boulin, who loved France, who was a resistance member, who would have saved France. I think about here they found him, they found his body. So everybody who is again, who opposes them, or who, who is a threat to them, you know, like I had to experience, while well, his life is in danger. You know, to dump someone's body in a lake or into the water is of course a sacrifice to ISIS because of the Horus Matrix. And you, you, because Osiris was cut into 13 pieces and then dumped into the River Nile. So in the end, it's a ritual to Satan. You know, to dump someone's body who was murdered somewhere else into the water. And remember, it's next to the palace. The Rothschilds are here. They bought the, uh, the abbey, the, the monastery next to it, from the Templars era. See, it's all New World Order. It's Pharaonic. Freemason. Just behind the lake where they found the body of the minister, there's this huge fence. It's going on for miles and miles. I wonder what's, what's behind it, you know? What are they trying to keep out? Or maybe in? I've been walking here for miles and miles and miles. Just behind it. What is this? And it's well done, you know? It's even like all these strings here, you know? In it. Well done. I made a thorough job here. Look, there's a big mansion just right next to where they, the only house where they murdered the, uh, the minister or where they found his dead body. Might be interesting to know who's living here, but I might take out the letters to know how, who it is. It's only four of here. It's the only house. Was he murdered here? I guess with so many castles around. Yeah. Oh, even got an electric wire. So in these houses, there's no doubt. So they, they that the uh, that they're all like uh, offspring of the kings, you know, the aristocracy. And this symbol here means they're no royalists, but they are republicans. It's a symbol of the French Republic. They all got their symbols all over. 